Hello and welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews and my name is John. Today I'm coming to you from outer space because space is the final frontier and this is the final album by the band Candlebox called The Long Goodbye. Now that I think about it, it would have made much more sense to have a candle lit background. So let me change my background and start over. Today's video is about the final album by the band Candlebox. It is called The Long Goodbye. It was released on August 25th, 2023, and this is their eighth and final album. After this, the band will be breaking up, and their singer, Kevin Martin, will be retiring from music. So we will be looking at the songs, and later we'll talk about why they decided to call it quits. So if you don't know, Candlebox is one of those grunge bands that came out right after the first wave of grunge. They released their self-titled album in 1993, and uh, this one had a few hits like Far Behind and You. I did a whole video of this on uh, the Children on the Couch Reviews channel. You can find my review on his channel. We discussed it in full, so I won't talk about it too much here. Candlebox is Kevin Martin on lead vocals, Adam Curry on bass, Brian Quinn on guitar, Island Styles on guitar, and BJ Kerwin on drums. So. The opening track is called Punks. It's a hard rock song with a good beat i was expecting a punk rock song but no it's more of a straightforward grunge song um, it's not too bad it starts off the album i like the guitar tone and the drumming sounded good what do you need features uh, an artist named uh, mona this is more of a blues rock uh, song with dirty distorted guitars this one also had a good guitar tone. The song is also fairly catchy. I don't know much about the band Mona, but I know they are an indie rock band and they have like this revolving door of members. Elegante is the next song and this one sounded more like a modern rock song. It had that crisp production and it had more of a radio friendly sound. The guitar sounded a lot brighter and they used more vocal effects. The song is not too bad. It was just very clean sounding. They had some acoustic guitars in the background that uh, sounded uh, pretty good, I would say. I should, be happy, not I should Be Happy is more of an energetic song. It has that post-punk type of sound mixed with some alternative rock. They pick up the pace with this song, the drumming is faster, and the overall song is a lot more energetic than some of the others. Uh, I would even say it gets a bit heavy. Uh, this one was pretty good. I like the harmonized guitars, uh, and the, those come in towards the end of the song. Nails on a Chalkboard is a softer ballad. This one also had a very clean sound that... Sounded like a modern pop song, but with some alternative rock vibes. This one also sounds like some of the songs from their first few albums. It also has a kind of a classic sound. I would say that this one reminded me the most of the band when they were making albums in the 90s. Ugly is the next song, and this one had a new wave uh, type of sound mixed with a little post-grunge. The guitar sounded very bright in parts and darker in other parts. The song was pretty good. I like the bass guitar sound and the drumming was good. The song uh, has a message that's both uh, ugly and pretty people do ugly things. Uh, this was another good one. It had a grungy type of sound as well. Maze was an acoustic song that kind of reminded me of like a John Mayer type of song, but they still kept some of their signature sound. This was an emotional song. It was very soft and retrospective. I thought the vocals were very good and the chorus was memorable. It was mostly a laid back song and I thought the guitar solo reminded me of those power ballads from the 80s. Cell Phone Jesus was a bouncy type of song. It had an upbeat rhythm. This one also had a modern pop sound. The song had that like modern production. Uh, the guitar tone was very bright and the chorus was very catchy. I wanna take you by the candlelight. Oh, your lips will have it for me. 
Foxy was another one that had a modern pop sound. The song was upbeat and had a very bright rhythm. The song sounded uh, very uh, radio friendly. I liked uh, some of the guitar sounds in the song. There was one part that sounded grungy, but otherwise it was, I guess, a pop song. Hourglass is the last song on the album and supposedly the last Candlebox song to ever uh, appear on any album. So um, I am expecting this one to be very deep and emotional. The idea behind the song is that there's sand in the hourglass and one day it will run out. And I think that's the main idea behind this album was that the time was up, they had a good run, but this is the end. Uh, song is pretty good. I feel it's very smooth. Uh, that's the word I would use for it. I like the bass guitar sound on this song as well. It also has an epic uh, piano kind of sound that gives it a climactic kind of feel. Uh, now, why is uh, this their last album? The real reason is that Kevin Martin just wants to retire. He wants to spend time with his wife and family, and he wants to relax. He spent the last 30 years on the road, and you may have not noticed it because Candlebox is one of those bands that were very popular in the 90s, but then they kind of faded into obscurity, but they still had this underground following, and they stayed on the road, and that they toured, and they continued to release albums, and... He just felt it was time, and I think it's a good idea. There are some artists who want to go on forever. I just did a video on Alice Cooper, and he is someone who said he's going to be touring until he can't even walk anymore. But if this band, Candlebox, if they want to quit, if they want to quit music, that's fine. I respect them for it. Uh, so now for my final thoughts on the album. I think it's pretty good. It's not the greatest Candlebox album ever. It's a lot more laid back, but... Then again, they have been moving in that direction. I remember I reviewed uh, the album from two years ago. It was called Wolves. And I also noticed that they had more of this mature sound. Uh, so it's okay. I think it's a good it's a good listen. It's only 35 minutes long, so it's definitely worth checking out. My score will be a 7 out of 10. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. And thanks for watching. If you are interested, here's my review of Wolves. I'm going to stick that right there. That's the previous Candlebox album, I think it was from 2021. Please like this video. It helps me with the algorithm. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, that will help you keep up to date with all my new releases and my classic album reviews. Thanks for watching. I will uh, see you in the next one.